next topic is limitations of accounting there are many advantages for accounting still there is some uh, limitations of accounting okay and these limitations are first one accounting is not fully exact it means even though we are preparing accounts on the evidence we get but we will estimate some amount to get the profit or losses for example when i am purchasing a machinery i will estimate that this machinery will work for 10 years this is only a assumption okay and according to this assumption i will divide the value of machinery into 10 years for depreciation that these terms will be studied later okay and i will divide the loss that we uh, that occurs due to the use of machinery will be divided into 10 years okay this is all of a assumption okay estimation okay so the accounts is not fully exact it is not a fully exact one okay and second one second limitation is unrealistic information this unrealistic information means we will suppose according we will uh, prepare the accounts according to the accounting principles conventions etc that you will study in chapter second and according to some concept we have to record the future losses that the business will occur we should record now itself any future losses we should anticipate all the future losses and we should record it now okay suppose uh, a dispute occurs in court and the accounting concept say that if we assume or uh, if we uh, if we, uh, if a future loss that can be occurred due to this uh, dispute we should record that loss in this year itself even though that uh, loss will occur after 5 years we should record that loss this year itself and this will reduce the profit of current year okay so this will not show in realistic information sometimes account may show some unrealistic information okay third one accounting ignores qualitative aspect while discussing the definition of accounting i said we should record the transaction in money terms only that means we will neglect the qualitative aspect okay so if even though the management having a good uh, communication with the public a good public relation if their product shows a good quality they may lack profit okay they may lack some profit and this is not shown in accounting the accounting shows only the money aspects only okay they will not show any quality aspects okay the fourth feature of accounting is accounting may lead to window dressing what do you mean by window dressing window dressing means manipulation we can the or the management can manipulate the account as per their specification to get sometimes if they want to get some loan in order to get loan they have to submit our financial details and when they submit financial details they will manipulate the account to get loans okay so the manipulation can occur in accounting so accounting may lead to window dressing okay it does not show the real information about the business okay and last one ignores price level changes ignores price level changes means our accounting is recorded at the value of money at the current situation or current time okay that means if a transaction occurs today we will record the transaction today itself and suppose the same transaction occurred in 2005 in the year 2005 is recorded at the money value at that time only and we will not check the change in value 
Suppose in 2005, I am having rupees 1 lakh profit. Uh, today, 2019, we have 1 lakh profit. But the value of money in these two years are different. But the accounted transaction will record at that time, at the uh, value of money at that time only. We will not check any money fluctuation, value of money fluctuation. Okay, we will ignore that. Okay, so money change in value, change in value of the money is not reflected in accounting. Okay, so I repeat these are the limitations of accounting. Accounting is not fully exact. It means we will estimate some amount to get the profit or losses. Then second one, it provides unrealistic information. We will anticipate from uh, some future losses and we will record that in this year itself. So it will not be a real information. Then third one, ignores qualitative elements. We will record only quantitative aspect and we will ignore the qualitative aspects like good public relation, management, quality etc. Then fourth one, it may lead to window dressing. The management can manipulate the accounts according to their wishes. Okay. Then ignores price level changes. That means the, the money, the accounting will ignore the change in value of money. Okay. Thank you.